Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins, the echo of my days. Oh, he is my song. Cause you are good, you're good. Whoa, you are good, you're good. Whoa, you are good, you're good. Whoa, you are good, you're good. Whoa. I think. I think a lot of Christians feel unworthy. See, the Bible calls the devil an accuser, right? That's what, that, that's what he wants to do. And he wants to constantly put us on this, this guilt trip of thinking that you're too filthy. You're too messed up. What you've done in the past can never be forgiven. You are less than a human. And so you don't deserve to be loved. You're too wicked to matter to God. That's what the devil is trying to say to everyone in this room. Yes, we're all sinners. We've all blown it. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. But here's how God describes you in Romans chapter 8. So now there is no condemnation. Because of what Jesus has done for you, there's no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. If God is for us... Who can be against us? Who dares accuse us? Whom God has chosen for his own? No one. For God himself has given us right standing with himself. You're never gonna let. You're never gonna let.